sound the alarms. Sound them now. Quick, quick, it is an emergency. YouTube Rewind is coming out tomorrow. Now, I know it's like not that big of a thing, but like, you know, uh, last year's is kind of, whoo, it's at like 17 million dislikes now, making it by far the most disliked video on YouTube. And, um, I was gonna make a reaction video to this tomorrow, but it's coming out tomorrow, and I have school stuff, so I can't. So, today I'm just gonna be going over some predictions I have, or some safe guesses on what's gonna be in YouTube Rewind. So, um, you know, let's, let's just get started. So, YouTube today put out a series of GIFs on Twitter showing, uh, showing multiple events or creators that were prominent in 2019 and i'm gonna mostly talk about the creators one because that's the main one i looked at but the creators i saw that i recognized were shane dawson which had many uh wildly successful documentary series this year on uh jeffree star and conspiracy theories james charles which his main event this year was the cancellation that caused him to lose like 3 million subs in a week. And then his uncancellation, and now he has more subs than he had then. I'm surprised YouTube is putting him in because uh, usually they don't like to associate with that with drama in YouTube Rewind. So, I don't know. Maybe him and uh, the girl who canceled him, I don't remember his name, will like hug it out in YouTube Rewind. I don't know. PewDiePie and uh, his wife, Marcia, they had their wedding this year, and they showed that in the gifts. Uh, so maybe like a reference to uh, their. Maybe like a reference to their wedding is gonna be in YouTube Rewind, which. I'm not surprised. I mean, I'm kind of surprised that he's in it again. Because, like, I thought, like, after the 2017, uh, with the death to all Jews, uh, drama, that he would never, ever be in a YouTube Rewind again. And YouTube just does not want to associate with him. But he did also reach 100 million subscribers this year. And, you know, he's... Everybody wants him in. Another YouTuber that I saw in the gifts, there's two more that I have right now. Uh, Seth Everman, he made a video this year making a parody, like, recreation of Bad Guy by Billie Eilish. And that got, like, 40 million views. It was widely popular. And I think that he's gonna be in it, and he's gonna start playing Bad Guy, and... I don't know why I'm theorizing for YouTube Rewind of all things, but like, it's fun to do. He like he could start playing the intro to Bad Guy, and then the rest of the song plays while the whole the rest of YouTube Rewind goes. And then the last YouTuber I saw was Mr. Beast. It makes sense that Mr. Beast would be in here. He's been get getting so many subscribers and so many. He's been getting so popular. Over the past two years, like, I remember in, like, March last year, he, like, had, like, 3 million subscribers, and now he's at over 27 million, so that's, like, that's crazy. That's, like, 5-minute crafts level of subscriber gain, or T-series level of sus subscriber gain. gain. And now I want to go through the stuff that I think is safe, but, uh, I'm not entirely sure. Uh... Liza Koshy, I think, is safe because she's in every YouTube Rewind. She's like YouTube's golden girl, even though that annoys me so much. Lily Singh is also another one of YouTube's golden girl, along with Lele Pons. Uh, Lily Singh, I think, is going to have an extra big chance of being in because she's a late-night show host now, okay? So YouTube has a soft spot for those guys. And, you know, it's... Pretty safe to say that she is going to be in. Marquez Brownlee is going to be in it. Maybe one uh, celebrity YouTuber like maybe Jack Black or Will Smith again. 
Ninja may be in it again. Who knows? Minecraft is definitely gonna be in it because YouTube for a while was like making a lot of tweets about Minecraft and you know, it was like the game that everyone talked about this year. It did kind of fall off, but it is, it was the game of this year. I think for some music, it's safe to say that Old Town Road or Panini by Lil Nas X is, has a chance of being in Rewind. Uh, Panini was wildly successful and um, Old Town Road was like the song of this year. Like it broke every music record it possibly could. And uh, it, it was everywhere. You could not escape it. There might be some Fortnite in here because people were talking about Fortnite for a bit. But not as much as last year, but it's definitely like has a chance of being in. I want to say there's going to be some Avengers reference because of Endgame. And then there's like so many memes that could have been from this year. Like uh, Area 51, that's definitely being in YouTube Rewind. That was the me that was the longest lasting meme of this year. Of course, the raid was kind of a disappointment, but you know, who cares? It was it was a f it was fun while it lasted. Uh. I want to say, like, the Joe Mama uh, thing is going to be in Rewind, but there's no way that's going to be. And then, for something that I personally want, like, I don't think this is going to happen, but it would be very nice if it ha if it did happen. Um, what if they made YouTube Rewind this year? Like, in 2017, they had a theme of everyone coming together because there were so many uh, natural disasters that happened in 2017 that a lot of people helped out with. And um, what if for this year, they made a theme of mental illness awareness and in that they did a tribute to Etika. Uh, I don't think they'll do this because Etika was an edgy YouTuber, but uh, it would be nice if they did that. I think I may be wrong about this, but Etika was like one of the has been like one of the only people that YouTube has personally memorialized on their Twitter account. I may be entirely wrong about that because I'm not sure how many YouTubers have really died in the lifespan of YouTubers, how many big YouTubers have died. But uh, it would be nice if they did a tribute to him. Like I said, I don't think that's going to happen. But we'll just have to wait tomorrow. Wait until tomorrow to see how YouTube Rewind is. I have a feeling it is definitely going to be better than last year's. Definitely. So um, that is where I'm going to end today's video. And... Uh, I hope you all had a very nice day, and please subscribe. I'm trying to reach 80 subscribers by the end of this year, so if you subscribe, that would be incredibly nice of you. Incredibly nice. Um, I hope you all have a very fantastic day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!